Having spoken about what exactly a Cauchy sequence is, now we will be looking at the Cauchy criteria. Before moving on to the Cauchy criteria of convergence, uh, we would like to know a lemma, a lemma which will be used in proving the Cauchy criteria for any sequence. And the lemma says that any Cauchy sequence is bounded. Any Cauchy sequence you would look at, it will be bounded. So let's take a general sequence. So let's take uh, let a n a general sequence be Cauchy. Okay. So in, if it is Cauchy, okay, then what do we have? Then then we have that for all epsilon greater than 0, there exists an n such that for n, an n greater than or equal to n, a n minus a n is less than epsilon. Okay, it holds true for all epsilon. So, can I take it for uh, epsilon equal to 1? So that means for epsilon equal to 1, this will hold, okay, in terms of n and m, what we can take, we can just take n and we can take m as this capital N itself, okay. So that means that there exists an n such that for n greater than or equal to n, okay, so we've taken 1 as equal greater than or equal to n, what do we have? We have that a n minus a n, whichever term you write, I mean a n minus a m or a m minus a n, doesn't really make any difference. The distance is less than 1. The distance is less than 1. Okay. The distance is less than 1. Now, for any n greater than or equal to n. Now, n greater than or equal to n, then this can be infinite, right? This can be infinite. Okay? But I know something. I know that a n lies between a n minus 1, a n plus 1 from here. Okay? From here, I know that a n actually lies between a n minus 1 and a n plus 1. So essentially, what we have is that your a n term lies between a n minus 1 and a n plus 1. So this is bounded, right? So this is bounded. So that means that a n where n is greater than or equal to n is actually bounded, right? It is bounded. Now, now what about the terms before a n minus 1? I don't know anything about it. I know that after a n minus 1, these terms, these a n are bounded. This is a bounded set. What about the set of previous elements? So, a n where n is of course greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to n minus 1, capital N minus 1. What about this set? Now this is a finite set. This is a finite set, right? It's a finite set and that implies that it is bounded. It has to be bounded because it's finite. It's finite so it is bounded. So what does that mean? That means that the union of these two sets will also be bounded. Will also be bounded. So that means that in case we have a Cauchy sequence. We have a Cauchy sequence. So therefore, we could utilize on the definition of Cauchy and we utilized it out here. So because this condition holds, because this condition 
holds okay therefore it is bounded so an is bounded the sequence the terms the set of the terms of the sequence is actually a bounded set so this will be utilized in, in uh, defining and proving the Cauchy criteria